Hi, I'm Darren Ferrugia and welcome. In this video, I'm going to follow on from my previous video, which was the Swiss Army triplet. So this is another take on the Swiss Army triplet. Uh, if you missed last week's video, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out. So what I'm doing this week that's a little different to the previous video is we're playing the Swiss Army triplet, but starting with the left hand. And this actually opens up a whole bunch of other possibilities. So let's dive in. A left hand lead Swiss Army triplet will be two lefts and a right hand. Left, left, right, left, left, right. Then I'm gonna play a grace note with my right hand at the start of that three note grouping. I'm going to count this for you in 2-4 so that you can hear it as triplets. 1 and a, 2 and a, 1 and a, 2 and a. And now what I'm going to do that's a little different to what I did on the previous video is I'm actually going to superimpose this sticking pattern and play it over 16th notes. By doing that, it puts the pattern in 3-4. So we've got a bar of 3-4 as 16th notes. Let me count that for you. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a. Okay, so if we want to play this in 4-4, four, four, all we need to do is add an extra beat. So what I'm doing here is just playing another three notes, left, left, right, and then followed by a left hand. Here's the whole bar of 4-4. Four, four. One, two, three, four. So as a fill in 4-4, four, four, I'll just play one bar of time. I'm going to keep this pretty simple. I'm going to play the fill on the snare drum. One, two, three, four. So that's how you would use it in 4-4. One of the great things about this sticking is it allows for a few more possibilities when it comes to orchestration. So let's have a look at some of these. One thing that we can do with this three note grouping is actually move the third note around the drum set. So I'm going to keep the flam on one surface. In this case, I'm going to keep that flam on the snare drum. And I'm going to move my right hand, which is the third note of this three note grouping, around the drum set. That's going to sound like this. Here's the same thing a little faster. The other thing you'll notice is that I'm actually playing that first left hand as a rim shot just to fatten up the sound of that. Also as we move the right hand around the drum set we're accenting that right hand too. So we're actually giving that right hand a little bit of stick. Another orchestration idea is to play that third note with the right hand on a ride cymbal or a crash cymbal and actually move the flam to different parts of the kit. Here's a slow example. Here's the 
is the same thing a little faster. Another orchestration I like is to keep all the right hand strokes moving around the drum set and all the left hand strokes on the snare drum. Um, to get technical and nerdy, uh, this is what's known as oblique motion. And oblique motion is where one hand stays at one surface and the other hand moves around the drum set. In this case, my left hand will stay on the snare drum and my right hand's gonna move around the kit. Here's a slow, version of that. The same thing, a bit brighter. Um, another favorite orchestration of mine is to split the flam between two surfaces and then take the third note to the ride or a crash cymbal. Very slowly, that would sound like this. And here's the same idea, taken up to tempo. Um, I'm going to mess around with this a little bit, so I'm going to start out slow, just explore the possibilities for orchestration, and then uh, I'll take the tempo up a little. One, two, three, four. So there you have it. That's a Swiss Army triplet starting with the left hand. As I said in the previous video, where you can sort of mutate these rudiments and get a lot of mileage out of them on the drum set. So take this home, have some fun with it, go nuts, go fully sick, and I'll see you on the next video. And before you leave, please remember to like the video, please subscribe, I'm uploading content every week, and be sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when there's a video ready to be watched. Stay well, take care, have fun, and bye.